and then it translated and, you know, it was being exported and it became what we know as tanks, you know, what tanks normally use today. Yeah, I was watching some uh, show where they visited the place, the birthplace, and it's a museum, it's got like hundreds of these old, you know, tracked vehicles. Yeah. Michael Portobello was doing it, he was steering them, the old ones had like a, a, a stick, like a, a tiller, but you had to push and pull at the same time. Yeah. He was pointing out, he said it's, it was fucking hard work, like it was really hard to do. Yes. Yeah, the early tanks were like that. They built steam driven ones. Yeah. Well, they built, they built steam driven track things. The US military are playing with an advanced mobility wheel at the moment, yeah. and it's actually like a wheel, but it can go down into that shape and work as a track. Yeah. It's like, you know when they talk about your car, they say there's about a hand worth of tread per tyre. That's right. You look at those, there's about, you know, six cubic metres per tread. Yeah. In America, they sell um, tracks that you can put on your truck. That sort of thing. A lot of people use it for snow. So when you get, by the time you get to Mildura, you've yeah. got to work out what you want to do tomorrow. If you want to go to Broken Hill tomorrow, yeah. straight up the Silver City Highway, then Wentworth's the go. Yeah, well, we're, let's do Wentworth and go up that. Okay. Because like you're saying, it's 900 k's back from um, uh, Broken Hill. Yeah. Right? Now... I'd say my general routine with the driving is do your biggest drive on your first day. Yep. And then the others can just, you can take your time a bit more, but yep. it's the sort of getting out. Yep. Is there a way to South of, uh, Broken Hill just past Wentworth, or is it all, it's a long, long way into South Australia? starting to get into roads that I think are a bit dodgy. I mean, I know what you're telling me about the, about Grey Road. What about uh, that one? Roads. What about that one? Wow! <laughs> I don't think we, I don't know if we picked that up with the camera. No. That's, wait, shall we put the time down though? Yep. Because that's 1453. Here's another one anyway, huh? I think that's all right. Yeah, right down 1452 to 1453, because while we're talking, that may have been in the video. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite a chunky one though, wasn't it? Yeah, so I know people in central Victoria, they showed us where a Willy Willy had gone through. Yeah. And um, it, um, it wrecked somebody's house. Yeah. Uh, it was really narrow, this thing. Yeah. Like, probably not much bigger than the house itself. Yeah. So the house is pretty unlucky. So if it sort of been 50 metres either way, it would have been missed. Yeah. But um, I think when you look at the tornado damage they get in the US, it like cuts its way through the houses. Oh, it and some of the houses have no damage.